I want to welcome you back to Black Side Sports tonight. We're going to talk about Kansas State comeback win versus the Colorado Buffaloes. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. But also, comment on this video. Kansas State made a comeback against Deion Sanders in Colorado. You thought the game was lost when Avery Johnson threw the interception to Hood. He ran down the sideline, got tackled at the 13, and of course, Shador Sanders finished with a touchdown drive, which gave Colorado a 28-24 lead. But Avery Johnson, the young quarterback, led Kansas State straight down the field in two plays, hit Jones on a 50-yard touchdown run, catch and run, and they take the lead 31-28. And after that, Shador could not finish it off. He could not take him down the field with two minutes left and have the game-winning touchdown. And I believe this game possibly was lost when Travis Hunter got his injury because it looks like the guy who was covering Jones down the sideline for Kansas State could have been the person that Travis Hunter would have been defending at that period of time when he was in the game. But you got to give Colorado and Kansas State credit. It was a hell of a game to watch. Each team is still in contention to possibly win the Big 12. The Big 12 is up for grabs. You have no idea who's going to win that conference. You got BYU at the top. You got Iowa State at the top. But you still got strong contenders like Colorado, uh, Kansas State, and other teams, Texas Tech, who are still vying to win this championship and go ahead to the playoffs. So I don't think Colorado should feel as sad as they do right now because this is a game that they possibly could have won. I thought it was a 50-50 game going into it because Kansas State was on a roll. We know Kansas State play a hell of a lot better in Manhattan than they play on the road. But Shador Sanders had a hell of a game. You know, at one time he was 38, 33 for 37 going into that last drive, but he couldn't finish it off because he didn't have two of his top receivers. But Colorado is getting better. I'm telling you now, this team is extremely dangerous in this conference. This team could possibly win this conference. A lot of people were saying that they thought that Colorado had regressed, but I think this team is getting better on the defensive side of the ball. But if they had Travis Hunter out there tonight, I believe they could have pulled this game out. But he got injured. We don't know how bad this injury. Remember, he got injured last year. And you know he doesn't want to uh, hurt his draft status in the future. So he has to be extremely careful because more than likely he's a top five receiver. So this game right here proved to a lot of people that Deion Sanders can coach. His team looked well coached tonight. You know, they are a solid contender in the Big 12, which a lot of people didn't agree with, but I agree with that after this game because going into, like I said, with three minutes left, this team right here had an opportunity to win this football game when they took the lead, but their defense could not hold the Kansas State Wildcats. So you got to give Avery Johnson a lot of credit. This young man is a freshman. I think a freshman, redshirt freshman, if I can uh, look back on it, that this young man is going to be something special once he gets more experience at the quarterback position. Because this man, after that interception, he walked right back on that field, threw a couple of passes. They were down in the end zone, and they were up 31 28. I know Dion <coughs> is not going to be feeling good tonight because I know he wanted this victory. This would have put them in a stronger position into winning the Big 12. The schedule, yes, it gets tougher. You know, they probably got Utah. You know, they got uh, 
the uh, Arizona teams, Texas Tech, and other teams that they have to deal with in the future. But everything is in Colorado hands. If they go out and they play as good as they played tonight, which they proved, they could possibly win this conference. And that's what Dion is going to have to stress to his team. He's going to have to tell them that, hey, we can win this thing if we buckle down on defense, get a little bit better on offense. We can go through because I'm telling you, a lot of these teams in the Big 12, a lot of them have warts, just like Colorado. And if they can play this, this game the right way, play it positively, and possibly win this conference, that would be something that Dion can talk about all summer because nobody expected this team to go this far. Now they're four and two. Kansas State is five and one. Each team is sitting perfect to win because if they can win out, more than likely, either both of them, either one of them, could possibly win this conference. So you got to look at the bright side. The right side of the issue instead of the left side. So basically, I want to thank you for listening to Black Side Sports. Hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button. But also, please share this video. And could you also just leave a comment in the comment section.